Hey guys, Steve here at SKS Props. Today is part two of my Warhammer 40K Power Axe build. All right guys, welcome back for part two of my Warhammer 40K Power Axe build. As you can tell, I have done a ton of work since the first video. So in this video, I'm gonna show you some of the basic foam fabrication techniques it took to build the back half of this. I did some LED wiring in here. Not a lot, but a little bit. People like things that light up. Now, most importantly, I'm gonna show you how this entire thing breaks down to easily go into a suitcase so it can be taken around the country to multiple conventions. We've got a lot to do, so let's get started. All right, so we have our PVC pipe skinned with some two millimeter foam. And again, this foam from TNT Cosplay is fairly durable, so don't be afraid to sand it with a sanding block or a Dremel to smooth it out, which is what you see I did there on the end. I wrapped it, rolled it, and then super glued it shut, and then I just sanded off the excess there. Now, at the tops, where it goes into the couplers, I also trimmed all that back so they can fit nice and snug. So you can see now where the head of this axe is gonna go in proportion to the rest of it. This is gonna be pretty awesome. And it's still fairly lightweight, uh, but it's got a good scale to it, a good heft to it, so it feels substantial. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start working on the vise and the power pack to go on the back of the axe head. Those are gonna attach up here to the top, so all I need to do is keep the 15 inch piece at this point. Let's get started on that part.
All right, guys, well, that does it for part two of my Warhammer 40K Tech Priest Power Axe build. Again, I'm having to get this done really, really quick for Dragon Con. I've only got a couple weeks, so I'm not putting near as many details into this as I normally would if I had a couple months to work on it or if it was for a competition. But for a couple days worth of work, honestly, I'm pretty happy with this. I love the fact that the whole thing breaks down to fit into my suitcase, so it's not going to get damaged on the way. Now, I'm not going to paint it until I get the backpack with all the extra arms and stuff done because I want a consistent color between all of it, so I'll paint all of it at the same time. So if you guys enjoyed this build, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, be sure to swing back by again for more tips and tutorials. Until then, thanks for stopping by.